My name is Isaiah and this is my old elementary school. This school actually is like, well, one of the worst schools in this area. Gave a bad look on the neighborhood. So, like, a lot of kids that went to this school were like falling behind because of the way the school was ran. And I left and I went to a different school so that I was kind of ahead of the kids that went to the school. My school had a bad reputation because the teachers didn't teach. We had bad principals. Bad building structure, no supplies. Pretty much we just played around and didn't learn a lot. Went to um, two different schools. One was in Jennings, Louisiana. One was in Arlington, Texas. Jennings school was better than my New Orleans school, and my Texas school was better than my Jennings and New Orleans school put together. What I liked about my school in Atlanta is the food, the teachers. Our library had plenty of books. We had a computer lab. It's not like no other school that's down here. My parents feel like um, I don't get a good education in New Orleans, so I am living with my uncle going to school in Houston for the rest of my high school years. Before Katrina, we had enormous problems in the city, and what some people say is that what Katrina did was sort of pull off the scab on a very deep wound. And part of that deep wound involved the public schools. Because the slate is sort of clean, because there are schools that are having to be rebuilt or reopened, that this is a prime opportunity to now address the real problems in the schools. Because of Katrina, the students now have an opportunity to say, listen, we, we are experts on um, our schools. We do have something to say, uh, and we, wanna, we want our voices heard in the effort to rebuild New Orleans Public Schools. Now is the time for students to realize their voice and make their voices heard in the whole recovery effort. Rethink is a program for middle schoolers and it's about helping middle school children find their voice and understand in their hearts that they are authorities on their own education. At, at the bottom of it all, Rethink is a civic engagement program for kids. We are about helping kids discover their power and discover their voices. The students are not only rebuilding or working to rebuild, rebuild the schools, but they're also rethinking relationships and how they deal with and relate to one another as humans. Rethink has given me an opportunity to voice what I think about my schools and has given me really a chance to have some power as a kid. We've already tried to have adults do all the thinking. That has not worked. It is time to give the kids a turn. And also, we are the ultimate authority. We know what's going on in the schools, and we know how to change them. We're trying to make it better for education for kids my age and older or younger. We're trying to make it better so the kids will have a better future. And you know how they say the kids are the future. Maybe someone could actually get an idea on what they really want to be. I like Rethink because people listen to me. I get to let my voice be heard, and we get to go to different places to learn more about schools in different states. Joining Rethink actually helps you get a sense of what the power of young children can do. When the schools reopen, I think that they should have a better environment all around. I think the overall goal of Rethink is to basically have all schools equal and also to help other children around the world start up their own little group to help them build up their schools. We have 
two bathrooms, but the worst is one is downstairs. There is writings on the walls, and no doors on some of the stalls, mostly all of them, but there's just some of them. So like, you had to have like your friend or somebody who you trust to cover you up. And they leave the toilets unflushed and it just stinks. Well, at the school I was going to, um, the bathrooms, um, they had buku holes in it and they had pee all on the floor. Now, toilets would always get stopped up. In everything, we are designing a green bathroom, like, so it could be, like, environmental, so that it wouldn't be all messed up the way it is now. I'm an architecture student, and I was brought in to teach them architecture, and they're going to redesign a bathroom. We want to focus on the bathroom because we kind of saw the bathroom as a good starting place to fix a lot of the corruption and a lot of the negative things about, about their schools. You know, I really want them to learn architecture, but, but, but to also learn that if they can change the worst of the worst, then they could have something positive to build off of after that. I'm not going to give you a specific type of floor plan to, to design, but um, I'll give you guys a couple sheets of graph paper, give you some instructions on how to do your floor plans, and then we'll take it from there. So this is a simple floor plan. Everyone see this? this is simple. And we're also doing it environmentally safe. We're working with Global Green. They're going to be an excellent resource. We hope to just incorporate a whole lot of uh, environmentally safe, uh, conscious mechanisms, I guess, within this bathroom. After Hurricane Katrina, we, I was away from my house for I think three or four months before I came back. This is my grandparents' house. This is where I'm living at until my real house get um, re rebuilt. I live, this is my trailer. Yeah. I live with my mom, my dad, and two sisters, and me and my brother. So that's who I live with in this small thing here. I think that, that New Orleans is a good place but we just have a lot of problems that need to be solved and I don't and I don't think that a lot of people are taking their advantage and using their power wisely that they can actually change something and I think that Rethink is kind of trying to show people that not showing adults but trying to show young kids that they also have the power to change things and to also um, have a say so in school and I think Rethink is trying to make New Orleans a better place by trying to let every kid have a good education by changing the school systems so that everyone could good, get a good education to make New Orleans better. So, that's what I'm putting out there.